So welcome to another Feature Friday. I forgot to tell you something in the first three parts that we did on inspection forms, so we're going to talk about that here today. So there's a system property that sets when the inspection results reference is created on a work order. If you don't have this set right, you're going to be frustrated as to why your inspections are not appearing, even though you're generating work orders for them. So let's get right to it. Okay, so you're in Manage, and you're going to go right into Work Order Tracking. And I want to show you a particular work order here. And you can see that even though this work order has been created, I don't have an inspection form on it quite yet. And I'm going to go ahead and choose one here somewhat randomly. Okay. So when I save this work order, in this case, it's going to be in a status other than waiting for approval. It will certainly save the inspection form, but it may not populate this inspection result. And that's important. So let's go look at that system property to see how to set that. So we're going to go up to system properties. I'm not going to save that work order. I'm going to go ahead and filter for this thing. And as you'll see on the screen, we have mxe.app.workorder.status. That's probably enough to get me there. There we go. And you can see that the default initial value is waiting for approval. Okay. So this means that any time we create a work order, in the status of waiting for approval, if there's an inspection form associated with it, the system will also generate the inspection result, which, would, which then allows the inspection to be seen out in conduct an inspection and the other applications. Okay? However, if you create this work order in a status other than Whopper, the inspection result will not be seen, which is not good and frustrating. Okay, so what you're going to want to do if you are creating work orders in statuses beyond waiting for approval, for example, if you are doing that through a PM definition um, to uh, create work orders for your inspections and such, you probably are creating work orders in a status of, you know, waiting to be scheduled or maybe even approved. Okay, those work orders will not have the inspection result created for you if this setting is the way it is. So quite simply, um, we're just going to add the, uh, some of the other common ones here. Okay, um, We're going to go ahead and save the property, of course, and then do a live refresh. You're familiar with doing this kind of thing. And there it is. Oop, I actually have to go back and select it. There we go. Now I can do live refresh. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Looks good. Live refresh and we're done. Okay. Okay. And so now what will happen is that when I have a work order, when it gets created, and this one's in an approval status, way down here in the bottom, whatever inspection form that I had chosen, um, there's a related inspection result. So hope that was helpful and um, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Thank you.